So over the years, I found myself wondering what could have been, and had it been, where would we be today? I want to pose that question to you guys today. What if we got Halloween 3D? Hey, what's up everybody? Nick here. And today I wanted to ask a question to you guys. I wanted to run down that question and really get to the bottom of where the franchise would be today had we gotten Halloween 3D. Now, some background information on this is that I did a video on Halloween 3D at the beginning of this year. It's on my channel. You guys can check it out. Where I detailed what the movie was going to be about and where it would have taken some of these characters that we had gotten to know and some of us loved from Rob Zombie's first two movies. This isn't going to be that kind of video. I want to look at the landscape of the movies that were coming out around that time and really look at the franchise as a whole and where we would be today had that movie happened. See, Halloween 3D was going to bring back a lot of the characters that we knew and loved from Rob Zombie's first two movies. Now, I know in saying that I'm speaking for myself, but I know there's more people out there like me that loved a lot of those characters. Selfishly, I would have loved to have seen specifically Scout Taylor Compton come back as Laurie Strode. Look, you guys know I have maintained that I believe the best on-screen portrayal of the fictional character of Laurie Strode is from Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. I think Scout absolutely bodied that role, and I would have loved to have seen her come back selfishly. Even if I felt like 1 and 2 were a really good arc for her, I would have taken more. I would have loved to have seen Tyler Maine come back as Michael Myers. After Halloween 2, I felt like he really kind of cemented himself as one of the greatest Michael Myers ever. Some people say he is the greatest. I wouldn't go that far, but he's definitely top 3, if not top 2. The guy was absolutely top tier, and I would have loved to have seen him back as Michael Myers for one more movie. Setting aside the fact that I would have selfishly loved to have seen these characters come back again and again, you have to look at the macro here. See, around that time, late 2009, early 2010, when this movie was in pre-production, it was bound to have been rushed. When it was first announced, it was going to come out not even a calendar year after Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. It was going to be rushed into production, a la Halloween 5. Now, if you guys know me, you know I love Halloween 5, but let's not kid ourselves. That movie was 100% rushed, and parts of the movie suffer because of it. So you were already going to be up against it, knowing that you would have had a very tight schedule to write, shoot, and edit this film and get it out for the following year. The biggest hurdle, though, would have been bringing these characters back, but not bringing Rob Zombie back. See, if you're not going to bring Rob Zombie back to the world that he had created and played in so well, in my opinion, there's no point in bringing his characters back. Tonally, it would have been way too much of a shakeup to have a new team come in, but take on very established characters in a very established universe. Love or hate Rob Zombie's two Halloween movies, they have a very specific style and tone. And if you're going to go from those two movies to something totally different, but with the same people, I just don't know if it would have worked. So you'd be up against it there as well. But the biggest thing here that was hanging over this film ever happening was the Weinstein Company. See, the rights were about to lapse, and we were right on the precipice of the Weinstein Company going under for very deserved reasons. So, their hearts were not in this at all. They saw an opportunity to make a quick buck, and they would have gone through with it if other factors had allowed them to. Thankfully, the rights did lapse, the company went under, and that didn't happen. But all of these factors would have been working against Halloween 3D. But the biggest one? The fact that Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 was very open and shut. Whether you liked the first two movies or not, a lot of these characters had very established arcs. A beginning, a middle, and an end. So if you're doing a third movie just to milk the cash cow, you're essentially just dragging something out that didn't need to be dragged out. You're adding new motivations, new character traits, and just adding things to these characters that didn't need to be there. But all of those things being said, where would we be today if Halloween 3D had happened? Well, personally, in my opinion, I think it would have absolutely tanked at the box office. See, around that time, you were really starting to see 3D start to come back, and people were like, oh, is this going to be the way? And some movies did really, really well at it. But Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 left a really sour taste in a lot of people's mouths, and it made half of what his first movie made. So if you were going to rush a sequel to that movie into production and then throw the 3D gimmickry on top of it, 
and have it come out a year later, I just don't see how it could have made any money. I think that some of your diehard fans would have gone and seen it because we love Michael Myers, but I think it would have made even less money than Halloween 2, and it would have put the franchise in a really bad position. See, again, say what you will about Halloween 2, the movie made three times its budget almost, so the movie was profitable for everybody involved. They were not in the doldrums that they were in with Halloween 5 and Halloween 6. This was not that time for this franchise. But if you did Halloween 3D, I worry that that would have happened. And then you have to look at where the franchise went from there. Now, maybe you're someone that loves Rob Zombie's two movies. And if you guys know me, you know I love Halloween too. So maybe you wanted to see these characters come back selfishly as well. And maybe you would have preferred going this route than the Halloween 2018 route. But looking at it, I also kind of wonder that if Halloween 3D had come out and had bombed, let's just call a spade a spade, it probably would have and not been reviewed very well, and I read the script, there's some questionable things about it, to say the least. Does Blumhouse even come around five years later? Do they even have these talks with Carpenter and Jamie Lee Curtis and really try to revive this property? You can make the argument, well, yeah, probably, because Jason said he was a big fan and Jason was trying to corner the market. And that's true, but I promise you, a property is far less desirable when it's in the depths of hell. Rob Zombie's two movies made about $120 million worldwide and cost maybe 25 to 30 million combined to make them. Healthy, healthy profit. Halloween 3D could have done even more damage to that run of movies than Halloween 2 did. So I just don't think it would have been worth it. And I don't honestly know if Jason Blum would have come knocking because at the end of the day, he's a businessman. And is it a smart business decision to see a franchise that is not only just on the ropes, that is completely in hell and want to resurrect it? I just, I don't know about that. There's got to be money there. You've got to be a smart investor. This guy is. And clearly, people love him, people hate him. But regardless of how you feel about him, he is a super good businessman that knows what he's doing. I think Halloween 3D just could have done irreparable damage to the Halloween franchise. Even if Blum had come around, I think it might have been years later. I think we would have even seen a longer break between movies than we did with Halloween 2 to Halloween 2018. I think it even might have sullied Michael Myers in the name of the franchise a little bit more. Because as I said, everything that I read in that script, there was so much about it that was just just beneath the franchise. And some of you might laugh because you're not a huge fan of the franchise and you'd say, beneath Halloween? Come on, it's not like it's this gold standard. And I would push back on that because it absolutely is when you look at the original movie. And some of the sequels are damn good. So I just think that movie really could have changed people's perceptions about this series. We've seen that happen with franchises over the years. Look no further than Hellraiser. The first three to four movies, people would argue, I'd say four, are pretty damn good to great. And then you have a couple bad direct-to-video sequels, and then you keep going. Because why? Oh, Dimension wants to retain the rights, so they're just pumping out shit. And it's getting worse and worse and worse, to the point where Pinhead becomes a punchline. He becomes a joke, never returns to theaters. He becomes a B-rate icon. And I hate that, because I love some of those movies. But they did irreparable damage to the brand. And I think that Halloween 3D could have done the exact same thing. Because whether you loved or hated Rob's movies, I can admit, after Halloween 2, that process had already begun. It was doing harm to the fan base and to general audiences as a whole. Not to mention before those two movies, Resurrection did that. Halloween hadn't really had a huge hit critically and commercially in that time except H2O. And even that one was a mild critic hit. Every other one was pretty much panned by critics. So... This franchise needed the break that it took. That Those two movies were a nice one-two punch. You didn't need any more after that. I think it would have changed the trajectory of the franchise. The way we look at Michael Myers raises the question of if we would have even had a trilogy to talk about after that, after all. But I know for a lot of people, that might have been the preferred route. For me, I think everything happens for a reason. And I think that I can say I'm happy that this didn't happen. Because of what could have been done to my favorite series, I'm just glad that we got our break after Halloween 2. The fans got to calm down a little bit just for Jason Blum to come in a decade later and piss everybody off again. But he proved that that time off, the absence made the heart grow fonder. Those movies were a huge hit. They made $500 million for Blumhouse. 
reinvigorated the IP and the character of Michael Myers for generations to come. So I think at the end of the day, it's what was supposed to happen. But I want to hear down below what you guys think. Where do you think we'd be right now if we got Halloween 3D? And would you have wanted to have seen Halloween 3D? Please discuss down in the comments section. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This is Nick of the Lost River Drive-In, and I'm pulling out.